So for this video, I'm going to show the connection monitor tool in Network Watcher. So connection monitor, create, put in subscription, the region. So what connection monitor does is it lets you uh, monitor the connection between two endpoints, you know, like Azure, hybrid network. Um, so let me just give it a name. Um, and it's by default it's going to create a uh, you know, log analytics workspace but I already have some other ones but I'll just let it create one next test groups and this will be the test between the source and the destination so, test group. so let's add a source and these are two vnets I set up in the east US East region, East US, and so it just whatever pops up is going to be whatever region you chose. But, um, okay, and so let's do VNet 1, and actually, you can get more specific. So, let's say I chose just subnet B, it says one or more VMs are without network watcher extension, so either got to enable it or do a different one. And let me show you what I mean by what that mean. So um, let me duplicate this. So I'll show you VM1 and then I'll show you VM2. Uh, this is VM1, this is VM2. So VM1, since that's been for all the videos I've been doing with Network Watcher, I've been uh, using VM1 as a source a lot and stuff. So actually what Azure does is it automatically provisions this extension. I never added it myself, but since I haven't been using VM2, we don't have that extension. So if we want to monitor this um, one extensively, then let's just add the extension for it. So it's, where is it, Eric Watcher Agent, okay, I'll type it. There we go. Network watch watcher agent for Microsoft or for Windows. Next. And just create it. I'll come back when it's ready. So anyway, that's being done. Um, let's go back to sources. And VNet, we want VNet1. And I'll just choose subnet A only actually. And I'll add that as endpoint. And um, actually, I also want to add this extension to the third VM, which is VM right, um, which is in a different subnet, because I wanted that to be the destination. Uh, so let me actually make another one. So I want it to be here. Oh, looks like it did create it. Let's see here. Well, let me just check, double check. VM right, extensions. All right, so it doesn't have it. Network watch, what the heck? Network watch your agent, next. I'll come back after I create it. All right, it's ready. So VM right, okay. So now let's just refresh it, I guess. Um, cancel, add destinations. VNet2, we just want the subnet A endpoint. So this is our source, and this is our destination. So now let's add the test configuration, and we'll just call it test config and whatever protocol you want. Let's do a simple TCP destination port 80. And we don't want to open the port test frequency and success threshold. So let's just put 98% and 40 milliseconds. Add test configuration. 
Now, before I continue, actually, I'm going to go on this dem uh, VM right. I'm going to actually install iOS on it. So I'll come back after I install it because I've installed it in multiple videos, so don't need to show it again. All right, so it's installed. So never mind that. So now we could continue with this. Uh, test group, add test group, and go to next, create alert. So if you want to create alert, you know, based on the conditions here, then you can. But I'm not going to create alert, and so I'm going to create it. I'll come back after the connection monitor is done. So, so it's created. But I also want to show that if you just go to any of your virtual machines, you could also get connection monitor, find that blade in um, the monitoring one. But it's classic. But anyway, you could add one there. Just showing you could do that. And I forgot to mention, when it's done, um, when it's created, it automatically starts. So right now it's monitoring, so I'm going to give it some time to you know, gather some data. But uh, in, in the meantime, before I pause it and come back later, it's, I want to show that I still have that uh, peering connection still in place between the two virtual networks. So, yeah. So make sure you have that if you're going to you know, monitor a VM here and this virtual network to a VM over here and this virtual network. Um, but let me get set up network watcher production monitor. Here it is. So what you could do is just come here and show this, but I'm gonna come back later when it's ready. All right, that should be long enough. Um, let's refresh it. And over here, we can see the round trip time to get from our source to our destination. Our source was uh, VM1, destination was uh, VM right. So it's actually meeting our specifications that we put. If we set up an alert, the alert would not have been triggered. And anyway, here's some more stuff. Let's view the test, the past. And anyway, so that's uh, Connection Monitor for the Network Watcher.